In this video, we are going to show you how to set up and align your LX65 telescope. You'll find that this telescope system has all that you need to explore the universe. With the LX65's versatile and advanced set of features, you will have plenty of room to learn and expand your interest in astronomy. The LX65 is currently bundled with four different optical tubes, or sold separately with the mountain tripod only. Available OTAs are the 5 and 6 inch Maxitov Cassegrain and 6 and 8 inch Advanced Coma Free or ACF optical designs. Each LX65 bundle comes with a motorized GoTo Alt Azimuth mount, equipped with two Vixen style dovetail receivers and an AudioStar handbox containing a 30,000 object database. The LX65 bundle also comes with a 1.25 inch Super Plossal 26mm eyepiece and a red dot viewfinder. The LX65's ability to hold two optical tubes simultaneously makes it an ideal telescope for showing people the night sky or observing the same object with different filters or fields of view at the same time. Let's begin with unpacking the box and start assembling the mount during the day to become familiar with the parts and operation of the LX65. For the best observing possible, set up the telescope in a large open area where you can see lots of sky and away from street lights and other sources of light. Make sure the ground is stable and is approximately level. Adjust the tripod height by loosening each leg lock knob and extending their inner tripod leg midway. Then tighten the leg lock to hold the leg in place. Open the tripod by pulling the legs apart to a fully open position. Extend each of the legs so the top of the tripod is approximately level. Remove the large nut from the threaded shaft and slide the spreader onto the shaft. Attach the large nut and tighten it until the telescope legs are held snug in the most spread position. If needed, Further adjust the tripod height by extending the inner tripod legs until the top of the tripod is approximately level. Grab the LX65 carry handle and place the mount onto the top of the tripod head. Rotate the telescope head slowly until you feel the scope register on the center hub of the tripod head. Carefully screw the three attachment thumb screws located on the bottom of the tripod head into the mount base. Tighten each attachment knob until firm. Remove the cover from the battery compartment, exposing the battery tray. Carefully slide the battery tray out until it reaches its end stop. Insert eight alkaline C batteries into the battery compartment. Take care that the battery's plus and minus ends are indicated in the battery holder. Slide the battery compartment back into the battery compartment cover. Always remove the batteries if they will not be used for a long period of time. If you choose to use an alternative power source, such as the Mead Universal Adapter, plug one end into the telescope control panel and the other end into the household socket. If using the Mead number 067 DC cable, connect one end to the telescope control panel and other end into an automotive 12 volt DC accessory socket. Be sure the telescope power switch is in the off position. Take the AudioStar cable and plug one end into the control panel and one end into the AudioStar handbox. On the primary dovetail receiver, loosen the dovetail locking knob so the OTA dovetail will fit. Carefully place the telescope optical tube's dovetail into the dovetail receiver and tighten the dovetail locking knob to a firm feel. It's best to place the dovetail at its midway point to start. When standing behind the LX65 facing the control panel, the optical tube should be on the right-hand side of the mount arm. On the optical tube, Remove the threaded dust cap from the rear cell of the telescope and thread the 1.25 inch eyepiece holder onto the rear cell thread. Next, slide the diagonal mirror into the eyepiece holder and lock in place by turning the thumb screws to a firm feel. Place the Super Plossal 26mm eyepiece into the diagonal mirror and tighten the diagonal mirror thumb screw. Now, install the red dot viewfinder onto the optical tube by sliding the finder's base into the pre-installed mounting bracket on top of the OTA. Tighten the mounting base thumb screw to a firm feel. Remove the dust cover from the front of the optical tube and be careful not to touch the glass lens. With all the accessories attached and covers removed, we are now ready to balance the telescope. First, carefully loosen the altitude clutch knob while holding onto the optical tube. If the optical tube is front or back heavy, slightly loosen the dovetail locking knob and slide the optical tube forward or backward as needed to reach balance. Use caution and never let go of the optical tube during this process as an out-of-balance system may swing wildly and cause damage or injury. To turn on the red dot finder, carefully rotate the power switch until you feel it click. Turning further clockwise will increase the dot brightness. Adjust the dot to the minimum brightness where it can easily be seen. 
This will extend its battery life and make it easier to see faint stars in the background. The electronic red dot finder allows you to more easily locate bright night sky targets due to its large field of view compared with the main optical tube. But first it needs to be aligned with the main tube, so both point at the exact same location. To align the electronic red dot finder, point the telescope at a distant target. In order to move the telescope, power on the telescope, Audio Star will beep and the display screen will be activated. Use the keypad on the Audio Star handbox controller. Center the distant target and focus it using the focus knob located on the optical tube. With the distant target centered, look through the finder's glass window. You will see a red dot superimposed on your view. Using the horizontal and vertical adjustment screws on the red dot finder, and without moving the telescope, make adjustments until the red dot is centered over the same target seen in the eyepiece. The red dot finder is now pointed at the same location as the optical tube, and should be used to more easily locate night sky targets. Now that your telescope is fully assembled, let's initialize Audio Star. We'll then place the telescope into the home position and perform a night sky alignment once it gets dark enough to see stars. The easy alignment is the easiest way to perform a night sky alignment and is necessary for the telescope to successfully locate celestial objects. Using the up down arrow keys on the Audio Star controller, move the telescope to its home position. The home position for the LX65 is with the optical tube level and pointed in the direction of either true north or magnetic north. Audio Star will prompt you to select which north direction the optical tube is pointing before alignment. If you cannot see the northern sky, or don't know where the true north is located, use the included compass bubble level to point the telescope toward magnetic north. Press 0 to align or mode for menu displays. Press 0 to align your telescope using the easy align method. The telescope then tests the motor function by moving in the horizontal and vertical directions. This will only happen during the first power on of the telescope. Set your location or zip code. Press 1 to select the zip code option, or 2 to enter the city and state. The location settings are only asked for the first time you turn on the telescope and activate AudioStar. If you want to change and update the LX65 location, go to the Settings Site menus in AudioStar. After the location is set, the next screen requests the status of Daylight Savings Times. If Daylight Savings Time is not active, press the 2 key. AudioStar then asks for the telescope model. Using the scroll keys, locate your LX65 model and press enter. Now enter the current date, then press enter. Enter the current time, select AM or PM, and then press enter. System initialization is now complete, and AudioStar enters into the easy alignment routine. The AudioStar display now reads North Method, 1, True, 2, Compass. See the easy 2-star alignment section in the instruction manual for additional details in performing this alignment if needed. Based on the telescope date, time, and location entered, AudioStar then chooses two stars to align upon. When the telescope slews to the first star for alignment, it may not appear in the field of view of the eyepiece. The alignment star should be easily recognized and be the brightest star in the area of the sky where the telescope is pointing. When looking through the red dot finder, use the arrow keys to move the telescope to place the red dot on top of the star. Now look through the eyepiece and use the arrow keys to move the star to the center of the eyepiece field. Press Enter. Repeat procedure for the second alignment star. When the procedure is performed correctly, alignment successful displays. If Audio Star does not display this message, the wrong stars were centered in the eyepiece, and you should perform this procedure again. Once the telescope is aligned, we recommend taking the Tonight's Best Guided Tour, which has pre-selected the best objects to view that night. Select Guided Tours on the Audio Star handbox, then Tonight's Best to start the tour. Congratulations! You have now successfully set up and aligned your LX65. You'll find this telescope is compact yet sturdy, providing a great combination of portability and performance. Once you become familiar with using the LX65, try installing a second optical tube to enhance your viewing experience. The LX65 has the ability to hold two optical tubes, allowing you to view in wide field and close up at the same time. With its quick and portable setup, you're ready to start observing in minutes. The LX65 system breaks down into three compact pieces and does not require any tools, making it a breeze to transport to your favorite dark sky location. Bring on the adventure with Mead's LX65.